guard pass because I saw this weekend like yeah we kind of like struggled here right and um yeah it's not no fault to nobody just nobody really plays close guard here is we're usually open guard trying to like get in entries and elevate and all that so let's talk about here first thing guys is like I want to be postured right how many of you caught hell while you were like like this right and trying and stuff like that and uh, especially if you're in the gi I know I know this was terrible right because it's holding lapels and all that so I want to try to be postured when I can first right um I like holding at the hip bone right here or at the ribs whichever one as he starts trying to grab that's usually when I'll start grabbing his wrist and it's the same thing all right I can use his own wrist to frame against him all right problem is is like it's hard to pass staying on our knees because I know as long as I'm on my knees I'm just as slow and believe it or not he's actually like faster than me if I stay on my knees you know what I mean so I'm not gonna say it's impossible because we do it all the time right we start passing we break the legs we're coming up and we go but as long as I stay on my knees it's I'm at a disadvantage being slow all right so what we're gonna try to do is we're gonna start like trying to like learn how to get up on our feet to pass so one pass I like using a lot and um, I used to use this a lot when Freddie actually used to make a strike a lot I had to learn how to pass his way because people were punching me in the face and I had 16 ounce gloves so I had to learn how to like hold them first and I would slowly find a wrist and I was gluing it to the ground all right whatever side I glued my head went to that side and I was dropping my shoulder and I tripoded so I'm here I tripoded up and my hand is underneath him I would either feed it or I'd walk and feed it all right now once I fed it to my other hand I might take a minute real quick to go back down or maybe just stand from there it's up to you but it's not wrong if I come back down it's not too much you could do again I learned this pass while I was being punched in the face so I was always wary of that other arm now this leg would come up first because I'm not worried about him grabbing it right so maybe I grab when we're here that second leg and now I bring him to his shoulders all right from here you'd be surprised how easy these legs come apart as it comes apart I slide my knee through since I did say I was going to teach you guys foot lock this month let's stick with this while my foot is through and my foot itself is still hooked inside of this thigh I haven't taken my foot out all right I'm gonna pose we're gonna grab and go into a full lock from here all right so we're going from a pass straight into a foot lock you guys already know our heel hooks and you know our ankle lock so i won't get too much into that but main thing is we're here so again i want to be postured my partner has me down i need to find a way to get postured back up all right so if you notice i kind of like framed a little bit here just so he could stop coming up and I'm reaching always for a wrist or in the bicep over here. Once I can get at least control something, I try to posture up. So at least that's one problem down. He's gonna be trying to outbalance you with his legs and grab your wrist, that's fine. Boom, I got one, right? So now immediately, boom, I try to I walk, walk, got it. Now I'm not worried about this leg coming up because I have his arm, stand up. Bring it to the shoulders, slide my knee, compose. Now I let go. Boom. All right. And we can start going for our heel hooks or ankle locks, whatever you guys want. So, we good? All right, let's try it on three. One, two.